Hi, everybody. <laughs> I restarted my computer. I'm seeing my normal view this time. I'm seeing all the little features and things around the sides that are normally there. So I don't know what was going on, but I, um, I, I don't know if the restart was the necessary thing. But right before this went live, I got this message. Um, it said, there was an error loading your app. Um, something isn't communicating properly with Google. Try again. And then it continued to do its little preload thing that it does before um, the thing is able to go live. And then it went. So um, anyway, I'm sorry. I, I really, it just gets me that, you know, stuff can't go as expected the first time, but I am going to go ahead and uh, find this new link for you and tweet it out. And we can go on with our day as we planned. <laughs> so silly. Okay. Um, I'm hoping with every click I make I don't just throw things into a tailspin. <laughs> um, so... Hang in there. Um, it's waiting, it's waiting, it's deciding if it wants to do what I want it to do. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, um, it'll, the neat thing. One improvement from Google Plus to however it was beforehand is that they will tell me a link that I can share. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm going to tweet this out now, and hopefully that's your update. And then I will click that link myself so I know what's going on. It's, called, it's titled Beauty Broadcast Live, Trying Again. Okay, hi everybody. Hi Kimberly. Hi Salamanda, Melissa, Gracie, Delia. <laughs> so sorry about that. I feel like it was my fault, but then I kind of wonder because right before it started working, then I got the error message. Isn't that strange? Wouldn't I have gotten some sort of error message earlier? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to... Um, get a little tweak. Right, see if that, see if that's going. If it is, I'll be looking at it. Um, hope you guys are having a good day so far. It's really, really dark here, and we're expecting severe weather later today. We are under the gun, as they say, for um, some strong thunderstorms, which seems kind of weird. I feel like I'm still in winter mode. I'm still like, you know, snow would seem like the normal weather event to be talking about. But, um, okay, I'm going to make this a little smaller. Whew. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to uh, just load up the tweet chat thing, and for some reason, like, every time I click it, it gives me just a list of the rooms that have been created and will not give me, um, actually, what anybody is using with the hashtag BBLive, so um, it would probably be best if you use the chatting features underneath the video, <laughs> um, just because that's, you know, we can't have everything working at once. That would just be too good. Um, yeah, so uh, what else has been happening? Last week we were talking about Valentine's Day, which would, would have been Friday, so I hope you guys had good Valentine's Days. I'm drinking out of the cup that it was Kristen's special cup when she was here. <laughs> 
Hi, Kristen, if you're back. Hi, anybody who has just returned. I can't see you, Salamander. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if like everything started, everything returned, and then the special feature was that I could see all of y'all, whatever you were doing? That'd be kind of cool. I deleted the old broadcast, so hopefully that's not hanging around to confuse anyone. So that's good. Um, and I, I did something behind me that was kind of a suggestion from some of you. Um, I, I was wanting to still have a little fun uh, festive tree behind me, but like I wanted it to incorporate lights in some way, but not still have my Christmas tree. So I took this vase, which I've had out here in the past, and I took my pink lights and I stuffed them down in there. So it may not be showing up real uh, true to what's going on, but it has this like pinky glow within the vase. So... <laughs> Craft project! <laughs> Yay! Hi, Crystal. Hi, Anne. Hi, Victoria. Jamie, everybody. Thank you so much for um, staying with the program. <laughs> hi, hi, Mariah. Um, I... I don't know if the tweet chat's working for you, Mariah, but... Um, if you want to go to or leave any, if you leave any comments, if you want to leave them underneath the YouTube video, that would be good because for some reason I'm not able to pull up that tweet chat. Um, but sleek makeup. Let's start there. Uh, I asked at some point last week on the Facebook page, what is a smaller or lesser known, lesser talked about makeup brand that you'd like to see me? check out and do videos on. And um, there were tons of great suggestions. Tons! Like, I mean, I, I, I could spend my life going through all those suggestions. But um, one that had a lot of thumbs up and just a lot of people were saying was Sleek. And I do have just a few things from Sleek already. Um, and I was really compelled to try more. It's just been something kind of like I've been meaning to do. They're on my radar, but yet I, you know, it, it's just hard sometimes with those brands that aren't, you're not just running into constantly, and they're not in stores where you live. So um, maybe you don't think about them as much. And so that was kind of the situation for me, but I got on the website. I placed an order. Um, I love that nothing I got was over 15 bucks. Um, also, the shipping because you know Sleek is uh, based in the UK. My delivery charge was $5.44. And it came within, yeah, within seven days. So, um, I mean, I didn't, I could have gone for a more expensive shipping if I wanted to track it, but I decided I'd go for the cheaper one. And it, you know, went fine. And it came yesterday. It came actually um, last night. And I was so excited. I busted into it. And I started swatching and going crazy with it. And so this is definitely what you'll see tomorrow on my main channel is not going to be a review. But it will be a haul. I, I've swatched everything for you. Um, I think you'll really get a feel for what the stuff looks like. And I went with some eye stuff, some face stuff, some lip stuff, um, and some things I, I will tell you I am just instantly impressed by. Um, you know, sometimes it, it's, it, isn't it such a grab bag when you make a big online order and you really weren't able to touch and feel, you know, uh, in a store? I, I mean, I, I always kind of feel that way with, like, an elf order, for example. It's like, ooh, what's it really going to be like? And everything arrived intact. It was very nicely um, packed up. Um, just re really, really pleased with the ordering experience and the way everything came. So, Oh, neat. Hi, Deborah. We live in the same area. That's cool. Oh, thank you, Glam Fairy. Everybody needs a glam fairy in their life, right? <laughs> well, thank you guys again so much if you're just tuning in and just found this link from wherever you are. Um, I'm periodically checking my tweet chat link just to see. And once again, <laughs> um, 
but I'll, I'll just keep maybe a, an eye on Twitter in general. And if you tweet me, if you tweet at me, I should be able to see it. Oh, um, okay. I actually am able to use a fun little feature here on my Hoot Suite and see all your BB Live tweets. Um, looking into the camera, Cookies and More says, I appreciate that you're always looking into the camera lens when filming and not the flip viewer. Oh, um, well, thank you for that. Um, I, I feel like I do have to look into the, my little flip around screen. Um, quite often, so I'm glad you haven't caught it. <laughs> but um, part of the challenges are when you're shooting a video by yourself and you don't have anybody behind your your camera, you really have to rely on those screens. Like if you're going to hold something up and show it and you really want to make sure it's in focus, I will be like glued to that little screen to make sure that you're seeing what I think you're seeing, you know, because you can hold something in front of the camera and then for some odd reason, you know, it takes like five seconds to focus in or something. So it's hard for us one woman shows out there or one man shows trying to shoot these YouTube videos to not use the viewfinder because you've got to kind of um, make sure what you think you're showing is actually showing up to people. So um, I think some people take it as you're staring at yourself in the camera <laughs> or something. Uh, but for the most part, you're just kind of trying to make sure everything is in focus. At least that's what I'm trying to do. So. Um, but I'll try to keep looking right at the lens as much as possible. David, hello from Longmont, Colorado. Wow. Oh, okay. Bob loves the chocolate bar palette. Um, am I crazy or have I seen Tyler in commercials for his law firm? Yes. <laughs> Um, he he does those. They shoot them, I think, once every few months. And we never see them here because we have uh, we have direct TV. But I think if you have Mediacom cable, um, you'll see them because <laughs> that's what their contract is with or whatever. So um, he'll show me. He'll he'll like have the commercial file on his computer, and it, it cracks me up, folks, to see him doing like. TV stuff like that, and he does he does a really good job. But he'll like ask me, he'll show me, and be like, you know, what can I, what should I do differently? Like, did I say that right, or did I? And so, <laughs> um, my main thing is like, I was telling him after this last one, it's like it's okay to smile. You know, you can crack a little smile there. It'll be okay. <laughs> Because I think he's got to memorize whatever he's got to say. Because I don't think they they give them a teleprompter. And so, anyways, <laughs> probably more info than you wanted to know. But it's just funny to see him in that role and see him have to pull that off. Um, another funny thing that he's I guess going to have to do at some point is the TV station um, where I worked does kind of like an experts on call sort of thing. And so my old news director, I think, called Tyler because they were going to have attorneys there to do like legal legal help, legal questions. And so I think at some point in time he's going to be on there doing that. <laughs> and I will just, I will get a total kick out of it. So that's fun. Um, hi, Chicago. Sumitra. Hi from Wonderland. Oh my goodness. Oh, Francie, um, I have not reviewed the ambient powders by Hourglass, but I do have a few. Um, I uh, had a nice little exchange with Kristen um, of a, the trio that was on sale around the maybe before the holidays and sold out. Um, so I, I now have that and I have one other. So um, yes, I definitely need to try those a little bit more. Um, because I think there are multiple ways of using them, like putting them on all over your face, putting them on in key areas. Some are more shimmery than others. So, um, yeah, and I think uh, even though that little trio of them is probably not still available, I think at least two in there are part of the regular lines. So um, the review could still apply. But thank you for reminding me about that. Glad, I am glad this all worked out, too, my friend Dutch Strawberry. 
Uh, hi from NYC, not snowed in this week. Thinking about getting the Too Faced La Creme lipsticks. Do you have any and are they worth the money? Um, probably one of my favorite high-end formulas of lipstick. <laughs> I really, really like them. I think they feel luxurious. I think they have a nice shine to them. Um, the vast majority of the finishes, I mean, probably every one that I have and have tried, and I've got quite a few, are straight up creamy, except for that Radiant Orchid Lollipop color, that one has some shimmer. So you will find a different texture with that. Um, I like that mostly for the color, not as much for the texture, but I mean, I, I, I like that lipstick a lot. But um, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ones is um, called, and I've, I've been digging through, weaving out, so, but this one was still handy. Nude Beach is a, is a really, really nice nude. That that's one of my favorites, um, just because I think nudes are touchy, and I, I like this formula especially with a nude because it's slightly shiny. Um, but there's so many pretty colors. Should I like do a blog post blog post with favorites or something, or maybe just do a review once and for all on them? Um, yay! Okay, um, I'm gonna check back here and see if. Uh, I'm getting any any tweets because again tweet chat you know um, lying oh close to bliss is lying in bed with a sick toddler oh thank you thank you so much I hope he feels better he or she <laughs> um, it's a rainy day here in Canada Okay, I'm going to go refresh this. Oh, thank you so much. I have, I have gotten so much nice, nice, nice feedback on the Express channel and those daily reviews, so thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's fun, it's been a challenge, but it's been a lot of fun, so thank you. Oh, Monique's here! Hi, Monique! Monique um, hosted me on her channel uh, last week, so that was really fun. Um, I uh, have been in kind of a little debacle trying to think about how I will um, how I will review certain kinds of lip products that I have in a lot of shades. For example, those Fergie lip stain type things, the vicious varnish <laughs> ones. I've got like every shade in those. I've got a lot of Milani lip products, and it's like, how will I possibly? show them all or reference them all in an express video. So here's my thought. See if you agree or would be okay with this. Um, like if I go to review those things, like maybe I talk about the the top ones and the my least favorite ones, you know, ab absolutely reference and show those in the video and then say go to my blog to see pictures of each and every shade. Would that be fair? Just so there's, you know, I don't feel like I'm trying to cram in 15 different lip products and show them in a video. And sometimes it's just nice to have pictures, you know, one after the next to compare, see like, okay, that shade's definitely brighter than that shade, so I would want that one. Or um, I think the blog can be useful in that way. So that may be how I do some upcoming reviews that are very, very lip product heavy. Because <laughs> um, I think the, the review should mainly be, you know, What's the formula like, right? And then here are some great shades. Here are some shades I really didn't like. And then, I don't know. That's my thought. Um, have you had any warmer weather in Chicago yet? Oh, I'm actually not in Chicago. Um, I am at the far opposite end of the, the state of Illinois, uh, down here in southern Illinois. And we tend to have a pretty different... Um, climate a lot of the time it seems. Um, we've had very warm temperatures. We're supposed to be into the 60s today um, and I think we will be in maybe the lower 60s as we get into the weekend. So um, yeah that's gonna be cool but with these oddly you know warm February temperatures we're supposed to get some really like rough weather today as in severe weather. So. 
it's mud season in Iowa. Winter snow in the morning and 58 degrees in the afternoon. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. Francie, can I hug you? That was really nice. How can I tone down the sparkle from Too Faced Lollipop? Um, have you tried putting um, a gloss over the top of it, even like a clear gloss? Sometimes that happens, I feel like, with products that are um, sparkly, as if you gloss them up more, they almost come off with a classic, more creamy finish, and the sparkle doesn't isn't as identifiable. That might be something to try, although I haven't tried that myself yet. Oh, Erica says, I got the tweet chat to work. I had to log in and authorize the app. Maybe that was the issue. Ooh. Well, then. I'll be darned. I'll see if that does anything for me. Um, is anybody having coffee this morning? Anyone, anyone? Ooh, it's telling me to authorize the app. Just like you said. Oh, wow. God love you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now I can see the tweet chat. Yay! Tanya's here. All right. And Ray is here. Only time I miss an Emily video is when my dog insists on watching it with me and blocks the screen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Does my voice attract, attract dogs? Because <laughs> that's cool. I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to shut that then. And I'm going to shut that. So, if you're watching this now and you would like to use the tweet chat, uh, go to my previous tweet, click that link, click login and authorize app. And then if you were having trouble getting to it, now you will be able to. Or if you don't want to use that and you just want to make sure your tweet gets to me during this little session we're having, just include the hashtag BBLive. Um, I miss seeing those lights in the background. Well, this is what I have. Miss Jen, did you see what I did? I put lights in a vase. <laughs> Do I get any points for this? <laughs> um, this is what I was eating uh, while I was getting ready today. Do you ever eat while you do your makeup? Velveeta blueberry for breakfast biscuits. They're kind of uh, cr crispy, but... I love the flavor. Like a dehydrated blueberry muffin. Hi, Chris Dave. Hazelnut coffee, hazelnut creamer. Check and check. That sounds good. Crystal, I'm having Starbucks French vanilla coffee today. Obviously not from Starbucks, but... What up, Rosie? Pretty picture you got there. Um, oh, Ms. Jen says she likes that. Can I take you closer so you'll maybe be able to see it better? Hmm, we're going on a field trip. It looks kind of cool if you're here in person. I kind of just felt so Christmassy seeing that Christmas tree back there, so I needed to kind of spring it up slightly. Did Kristen come back? Did she find us? Ah! Yes. Not that it surprises me. I love those Belvita blueberry things. Had one this morning while I was getting ready. Hashtag Soul Sisters. Kristen! It, you know, I would, <laughs> I, just like you said, not that it surprises me, but <laughs> that's great. Yeah, I like those. They're, it's like they're not too sweet. This from the girl who really, really needed Fruity Pebbles earlier this week. <laughs> that stuff's sweet. 
Tanya's doing some online window shopping while watching BB Live. That's always fun. Yeah, I've seen commercials for the Velveeta, and at first I thought they were saying Velveeta. <laughs> Sweet Sassy Gail, you have joined the convo. I can see your comment. Oh, Monique um, also has says that Tweet Chat is actually still slow. It's not tweeting in real time, so warning on that. Thank you. What would I do without you guys to <laughs> keep everybody posted? Um, oh, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I have a, a small rant on something. I uh, have enjoyed... Sigma's new um, couple of new palettes they've put out recently. One was Warm Neutrals. Um, one is from their. I'll just show them. I got them handy here. This is Warm Neutrals. Very pretty. Uh, nicely pigmented palettes. Nice variety. This is the um, Smoke Screen. I'm going to be wearing that in uh, today's Express review. But. Alongside these collections, they have put out new eyeliners, like three. Three um, were with the Warm Neutrals, and these three were with the Smokescreen. And these liners are, just so you know, these are not the nice long-wearing liners that Sigma has in their collection that are the... That are, these are just labeled eyeliner pencils. The ones that are really long-wearing are called, um, like, long-wearing. They're defined as being, like, long-wearing eyeliner pencils or something like that. Um, I'm trying to find one here. Where is it? Just a second. Um, I'm having trouble locating. Yes, extended wear eyeliner. Read the fine print. Extended wear eyeliner. Eyeliner pencils. I was wearing these yesterday, and they are so not long-wearing. Like, I put this dark brown across my upper lash line, and last night I was just, it was like before I went to bed, I hadn't taken my makeup off yet, and I kind of rubbed my eye, and a big swath of brown came off. And then this stuff, I put this blue in my waterline, that there was like no evidence that I had done that by midway through the day. And then smudgy, smeary down below. These do okay if you um, if you set them, like if you make sure you've got a powder shadow on top. I used one of these as kind of a base, and that was okay. But like if you don't, plan for smearing. So anyway, I, I just... I don't want somebody to run across these and think, ooh, fun new colors and those long-wearing eyeliners, and then they're like, oh, it's just, I feel like the standard, is the standard for eyeliner not, like, way higher than it ever was before? Like, nowadays, we expect liners to go on, maybe you can smudge them out at first, but then they stick there, you know? I, I have a very low tolerance for eyeliners going everywhere, so... Anyway, just a small um, heads up. Mariah says, where did you find the Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter? Is my video already come up? Wait. Did, this, did an, a Beauty Broadcast Express video... How did you know I was reviewing that today? <laughs> because that is today's Express review, is on the Milani Brow and Eye Highlighters. Actually... Oh, well, there it is. It went up four hours ago. What is going on? I bet I had that set for a.m. and not p.m. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my express review went up um, ahead of time. That's how you do it. Was up because it was up. Um, so I apologize for that. I will get the details put in there as soon as Beauty Broadcast uh, Beauty Broadcast Live wraps up. 
But um, no, on the topic of those, they I they're available at Walgreens. I got mine from Milani, but they're sold on MilaniCosmetics.com. And then um, my local Walgreens has completely redone their, their Milani section. They've got the new lip stuff, brow stuff, um, and so yeah, they seem to be seem to be a pretty pretty neat product. Um, the one that I talked about a lot and demonstrated was this one. It's got a matte side and one side's called Luminous Lift, so one's matte and one's shimmer. And you can kind of use them to highlight your brow, use them as a base, you know, use them in whatever format you wish. So that's cool. Yeah, I, I set it for 5 a.m., I'm guessing, and not 5 p.m., so that went up a little bit ahead of what I was thinking it would. Um, but that's cool. That's okay. Um, I'm just, I, I regret that I didn't get all my uh, video details in there so you would know um, the link to them and all that, but that's okay. I will correct that. Uh, the Milani Clear Lip Liner. I haven't tried that yet. I have not. Um, kind of, I, I know it's one of those things that you kind of, uh, I think Mally had something called like a lip fence or something like that. Um, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm trying to kind of click around and close out some stuff. Um, but that should be kind of a cool thing to see about feathering. I actually thought my mom might enjoy trying that too. Yeah. Yep. I And you know what happened last week? And, and Kristen was my saving grace. Last Friday... Tyler's review went up, and I knew it was going up at 9, like the day before, but it, it, it left my mind, and I was getting ready and working on some other stuff, and um, that went up. I didn't even have it titled. I had it, like, titled in my code for, you know, the way I export stuff from iMovie. It was, like, BBX hand sanitizer or something like that, and I was like, what? Ah! <laughs> it's like, th this is the challenge of keeping up with all kinds of videos that are that you're trying to post. Um, I'll check my tweet chat. Yeah, it's not really updating so much. I'm still checking it though. Oh, okay. Hi from Tennessee. Do you happen to like or use any other natural or organic brands of makeup other than Tarte? Um, there's a good, really good uh, lip product brand. They've made some eyeshadows too, called Red Apple Lipstick. They are an organic and gluten-free um, line, and they've got some really good products. Um, kind of along the lines of you know maybe a lesser-known makeup brand, but their stuff is sold online, and they've had some really good like vivid um, lipsticks. I would say I like the lipsticks over the lip glosses or the eyeshadows, but that's one. Um, very, very pure makeup line. Yeah, I've seen you guys, um, several people showed me pictures of these new Wet n Wild palettes. <laughs> I hope I find them. They're limited edition, um, eight pans. Do you want to get your mom involved in reviews on BB Express? Yes. <laughs> that was an initial thought when I started it that I would like her to do some things like that. So, and my parents are coming down this weekend, so I'm kind of in a little bit of a time crunch because um, we're expecting this weather. I don't want to be out. I've got to go to the store and pick up a few things. Um, I don't want to be out when there's like a tornado warning. <laughs> <laughs> so um, probably after I do this I'll get a lot of video stuff done maybe be working on that while the storm is happening and then after the storm I will go out and do what I need to do yes uh, one brand tutorials I think I've ready, I'm ready to do a Milani one very soon I believe I've got everything I need for it um, yeah those kind of come and go with like the products I have and I kind of need to have every product I would need to do a full face of makeup from a certain brand so sometimes they kinda go in waves <laughs> but a lot of stuff you know 
when you have that big chunk of time where the Emily Awards are happening, it's like a lot of not normal videos are going up because it's the Emily Awards and it takes up takes up some time. So try to get in some other ones. Um, okay, I'm sorry if I missed some of these uh, comments, but it's snowing in Michigan. Be careful, says Jessica, for anybody in Michigan. Um, Salamanda says, for the first time in my life, I've been really into nude lips, but it's so hard to find the right color nude. Nude lips are the new red lips, in my opinion, she says. Um, yeah, you're right. And sometimes um, I find myself, whenever I'm doing a nude lip, maybe you guys do this too, do you find yourself messing with it more? Like adding in a lip liner or putting a gloss on top or like feeling the need to tweak the color a little bit just to make it just right. Have you tried the Sephora Color IQ device? No, I have not. Um, but Elizabeth says, I feel like it says I'm a lot darker than I am and says I'm darker in the darker shades when I'm so pale that during the summer it physically hurts my eyes to look at the glare off my skin. Some products work. it worked well for, just most, it's completely wonked, she says. <laughs> well, I'm, I've kind of been wondering how that works for people, so that's good to know. Hey, M, do more eye colors for spring. Getting bored with neutrals. Did you see my green? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if um, the Happy Place tutorial was kind of not exciting, but I mean, those are those are fun neutrals. I mean, they, they are neutral, but they are different, you know? There's, there's definitely color involved, but it's very wearable color, so I don't know. That's kind of my wheelhouse, but I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get you some color. Um, Sweden just joined. Hello! Hey, where's Finland? I heard Finland had a big win over Russia in hockey. If you stopped getting new products today, how long do you think it would take you to run out of makeup? Uh, I'm not sure I ever would. I'm serious. <laughs> um, I, I think I have probably a lifetime here, and maybe more. Um, hi, Lacey. Lacey's here. Uh, favorite high-end foundations? Estee Lauder Double Wear number one. I'm also really enjoying the Double Wear Light. That has been has been really good. I want to review that soon. Um, but that's it's it it is definitely um, a less thick consistency. It's a little more liquidy, um, but still has a great finish and still has really good coverage. Um. Where is Cupcake? Um, she is probably sleeping or trying to listen to the birds that are, I think, messing with a wreath that I have on the front door. <laughs> um, I guess I'll do face of the day while we're talking here. Um, I've got on my double wear today, actually. I'll put that away while we're talking. So double wear foundation. Um, I've got a little bit of a race paste on for an under eye concealer and a little bit of Revlon Photo Ready Stick Concealer just um, like elsewhere, elsewhere on my face. Um, also, I've got on Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder just a little bit all over. Anytime I use Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, I feel like I, I don't put on a lot of powder. Um, but under my eye to kind of set things, um, this really works well alongside the erase paste. I've got the Capricorn Compact. What's in here? If you're like, oh, I don't, I don't need a Capricorn. Thank you very much. Um, but if you wondered what was inside, it's a powder called Lucidity. It's a tran translucent powder. It really, really is nice. And um, so that's that on the face. And then um, on my cheeks. 
uh, this is actually the whole kit and caboodle of cheeks today, which the face is a little washed out on here, so probably hard to take a lot of that in. But one of the things I got from Sleek was this palette here. Um, and this is the Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette. Matte contour, fabulous shade. Really, really good shade for contouring. Highlight, uh, which is rather shimmery, about what you would expect. And then a very shimmery blush that is very um, peachy golden. Think like the Balm's Hot Mama, but not, not as pigmented. So, um, would have appreciated maybe a little more color coming out of that one, but it does, I mean, it does give the skin kind of a pretty glow. Um, can't say I don't like it, but you know, you know what I'm saying? It's could have been better. Um, so that's on the cheeks. That and it, but it is very cool that it has everything in one. And that palette is so you know, look, nothing to it. That's one, two, three products. That's three compacts. So that's kind of neat. Um, then. On my eyes, I am wearing this palette. So you're getting a sneak peek of an upcoming haul that I will be working on. But this is it. This is the Garden of Eden palette from Sleek. And um, you can get a clearer picture of this right now on Instagram, but uh, it's kind of purpley, lilac shades on top, greens on the bottom, mattes, shimmers, metallics, um, so I, I really was pumped to use this. I knew I was doing a bold lip today. So actually my my top part of my lid, my, my top part of my eye is just these two shades. I'm sorry. Um, this one here, where my pinky is, is kind of golden. So that's all over the lid. And this brown is the crease. So that's that's all there is to it. Very simple. And then on the lower lash line, I use this NYX liner in tropical green. Any kind of like jade green liner would do. And then I took this shade, and this is like a shimmery, shimmery green. And that's what's giving me the like the shine, the metallic kind of shine going on there. And um, winged out my liner a bit using my NYX two timer. It's got liquid on one end, pencil on the other. Wings out very nicely, very, very easily. Um, I've got some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes on my upper lash line. So obviously I wasn't able to wear everything that I got in Sleek Hall today, so there's still some things that will be mentioned in that video. Um, the Milani Brow and Eye, or Brow and Eye Highlighter. And then this Sleek Pout Paint, Highly Pigmented Lip Stain, which is in the shade Rosette and is very, very much like an OCC lip tar. Fabulous. Um, really, really uh, pigmented, very concentrated. Concentrated is the word. Um, just, you know, little color comes out. It spreads really nicely over the lips with a lip brush. And it has that little bit of shine, but much like a lip tar, it's like as you wear it, you know, it that that shine dies down a bit and it does not feel greasy, slippery, anything. Just really, really nice color there. So I think I had some really major successes from what I can tell so far. And like I said, the ordering went well. I mentioned this earlier. Did I mention this before the the chaos erupted or after? <laughs> um uh, but the ordering process was very easy, and um, the shipping did not cost much, and so it was just a good deal. For dark under eyes, Benefit Erase Paste or MAC Pro Longwear, going to be my first pricey concealer. Um, I, I really think the best thing to correct, I mean, MAC Pro Longwear is amazing, amazing coverage. Uh, you cannot deny that. Like, it's good coverage. I like the consistency. Um, I, I really enjoy it. But if the main thing if you that you have is like a bluish toned under eye circle, I feel like the erase paste is the most corrective. Uh, it it like absolutely cancels out where the other covers and maybe lightens or brightens. 
Um, but still good. I think you could have success either way. But I would I just lean toward um, the erase paste. But also think about how fair are you and because there are multiple shades of erase paste and I use the medium and really like that but if you're a little lighter than me you may want to look toward um, the lighter colors so what shade in the face form palette uh, that was in the shade whoa, <laughs> uh, the shade light light in this palette and that's that's a really good color for the contour. I, that's probably my favorite part. And then this, um, it's pigmented. It's very shimmery. It's not that different from a lot of highlights you probably tried. And then very golden on that on that shade there. But but pretty and and very glowy. So um, I kind of like this. You know, it, this would be like a, maybe a lower cost comparison to the It Cosmetics face disc. Um, the only thing is I feel like I like the blush a little bit better in that one and I like the contour a little better in this one but you know um, love the sleek oh sleek it's sleek cosmetics is the brand yeah yep yep um, I'm tr trying to check the tweet chat here I'm sorry because it's been a little iffy Um, I yeah, I have not done the the glam bag or the birch box. I just do the QVC test tubes. Um, and you know, I've thought about trying different ones, but I, I just I feel like I've been so consistently satisfied with the test tubes and have discovered so many total like game changers in the test tube that that's kind of been my thing. Like, for example, Philosophy's Inner Grace that was a test tube discovery and it was I, I love that body wash I am interested in purchasing Sigma brushes do you sell them like a consultant or just go through the website oh no I don't sell them um, you just go to the to sigmabeauty.com and you order them off the website unless you live near the Mall of America area and you could check them out in a store but um, Sigma has what are known as affiliates and those are people who um, you, anybody can do it um, but you're part of that program and basically um, you can have special links to share on the different products and if someone clicks your link and then ends up buying something you get like a small uh, teeny tiny percentage um, into your account so that's that's what maybe you're thinking of like with consultants or affiliate but they're called affiliates and you don't they're not out there selling products uh, it's actually just through the Sigma website so that's uh, sigmabeauty.com hi Ireland Okay, we've got requests to see the cake. I will go grab her right now. It's already 10.13. Man, technical difficulties cut out a lot of our quality time, don't they? Here she is. Here's the baker cat. Hey. Look at her. She's got her arm around me. How are you today? She says it's not a wet food day. Do you feel like your pets ever um, act funny if, if bad weather's coming? Like, you know, if, if a front's coming through or something, do you see your animals act up? Because 
I kind of feel like I, I sense that in her. Oh, good. Glad you enjoyed that. Happy place. What made you decide to get the QVC test tube anyway? Um, I remember seeing it right off the bat on a presentation, and I they showed it. Um, they just presented it like every product in there. They didn't go into too much detail on like everything, but I think they had a person. It was uh, like one of the editors from New Beauty magazine, because that's what it's technically called, the New Beauty QVC test tube, and so that like you get the magazine with it, you get the products, and um, so I had just seen that, and I was like, well, that seems like a good opportunity to try different things, and I also enjoyed how the products, even though some of them might be smaller sizes, they're they're not tiny, you know, they're not like packets. They're actually some kind of substantial things in there. So that's just kind of been the one that I've gotten, and I've, I get it on auto delivery. And so that's why I keep <laughs> keep getting it. Um, and you can renew that every so often. Um, I think every year, is that how that I can't remember how often I've had to renew it. But I just keep renewing it. Um, I always find random little things. It's not always like every test tube. I'll love everything in it. But um, it's a great way to just try a handful of different things. And, you know, I've got brands on QVC that I really like. Like, I like a lot of Laura Geller stuff. I like a lot of Mally, um, Tarte. And so... I like how they will throw in a few makeup items and it'll be like a full-size eyeliner or a full-size lip gloss or something, so it's pretty cool. The test tube does not come... Uh, can, somebody, can somebody clarify this? The test tube does not come every month. It's like every couple of months. Is that right? And it's right around between twenty and thirty dollars. Thank you, Amanda. Nice of you to do that. Don't don't feel like you have to. <laughs> oh, I have a, I have an incoming message. Oh, I have a message from Kristen to share with you guys because, as you know, we had talked about her and um, she had a lot loss in her family, lost her aunt recently, and she says, um, please thank everyone for their thoughts, prayers, support. I'm so appreciative of the BB Live family. So that's so sweet. Thank you, Kristen, for watching and always being here with us. And we were certainly thinking about you and um, – so many people said so many sweet, sweet things about you and to you um, during that time. So, you are loved. <laughs> oh. Well, um, what am I looking at here? <laughs> it's not moving. What is a good way to hold a curl? I struggle with holding a curl and my hair always falls flat. Um, my hair struggles to also, um, I think it's kind of part the styling tool you're using, but also the, there's a really great product and Kristen herself <laughs> had me purchase this and this really has worked well for me and it's from Paul Mitchell and it's called Hot Off the Press. It's an aerosol, um, like pre-styling mist that you can use. You spray it on before you wrap your hair around a curling iron or use any kind of heat tool and it really helps the curls last. It, it, I mean it's pretty impressive because I have fine very straight hair and um, it, it really does a great job like you will be able to use those curls like the next day <laughs> and not even necessarily have to do touch-ups and I really had a, noticed a difference with it because I I did my hair here, traveled to LA for iMats, slept, got up the next day for iMats, second day hair. You know, after all that moving around and, and and traveling and laying on it, sleeping on it, still looked really nice. So 
I was very pleased with that. Um, I have a review on my Express channel, but I imagine if you go, go into Google or Google reviews, you will see a lot, um, a lot of good feedback, probably. Ashley has arrived better late than never. <laughs> oh, yes, we need to do spin around the makeup room. This is the new game show game of BB Live. And this is the game that you would play if you were here. So, I'm going to close my eyes. I'm going to grab five things out of whatever drawers I hit. And then we'll do a little on-the-spot review of them. I feel like I, <laughs> in my head I'm thinking... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, there's one. Um... Mm, do this. Let's dig, dig back in there. Whoa, something's not shutting now. <laughs> Getting careless. Um, over here. Let's see. Let's go with this. That's one, two, three. Four, so this will be the last one, and I'll go down here. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Here's what I have. Um, the first thing I pulled out was that Ulta eyeshadow in Hopeless Romantic, um, and this was mentioned in my Rose, uh, Rose Shadows, but drugstore options for them. This is just like the um, pinky shade in the Naked 3D palette. Can't see it there so much, but I um, actually kind of like that shadow. I haven't liked every shadow I've used from Ulta, but I do like that one. Um, this from Laura Geller, Berry Banana. This came in uh, one of her TSV sets, the Baked Vanillas, I think it was. And it's like a swirled lipstick. It's swirls of nude and rose. It's a really pretty color. I remember using that a lot when that came out. Um, from the coral drawer, Sweet Nectar from Milani. Bam! Is that orange or what? Yes, this is a creamy shade, or maybe a matte, actually. Um, if you'd like to see this on the lips, go to beautybroadcast.net, search Milani. Um, and uh, there's a whole blog post on all these color statement lipsticks and the corals and whatnots. Uh, <laughs> and whatnots. Uh, Eve Pearl Mattifying Pressed Powder, light medium. Uh, this is something I got on when Eve Pearl was on Hope Look. And I kind of held it back while I got a lot of use out of some other powders, but recently busted it out. Um, a very sheer powder. I like that it's, you know, it's it's a it's a mattifying powder. It's not completely white. It is kind of skin toned. Um, so I just kind of use that. Do I need some now? I only use it over small areas. T zone, maybe right up under here. It also kind of works nice. Um, I don't know if you guys ever do this. But if you're really worried about everything staying really fresh looking on your lower lash line, you take an oil absorbing mattifying powder like this and just get a little bit right up underneath your liner. Not too much because you don't want to look dry. <laughs> um, so that and then I got a smolder eyes from Tarte. This is one of the, the thick ones. Smudgy tip, and this is in the shade brown, and this came as part of that uh, today's special value around Christmas time. So it's a really it's it's a matte, creamy brown pencil that could be used as your eyeliner, your base, whatever it may be. So that's a random look at what's in the collection. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. See, I think it'd be fun to have somebody else do that. Yeah, something's wrong with that drawer. Um, but I uh, organize all of my eyeshadows by color. 
and it's been nice. I really that that was a good choice, I think, for like when I'm using shadows and thinking about my singles, it's like I don't think by brand, I think by color. And then I end up pulling out random brands that I might not always think about. But um, when you started doing videos, did you have people who didn't understand what you were doing and judged your collection? I know I have the have more products than the average person who isn't a makeup junkie, but they'll be like, do you think you'll ever use it all? Yeah, oh yeah. There's plenty of that. Um, and it, collection videos really bring those kinds of comments out of the woodwork, I think. Um, and, you know, it's, I don't expect everybody to just, like, see what I'm doing and, you know, under, totally understand, you know, um, but at the same time, I don't think people would criticize a carpenter for having a lot of tools. So, <laughs> you know, this is, this is what I do, and it's, not only, you know, was a huge part of my life while I had my other career, but now this kind of really is my career. So, um, and it's, it's my education for sure, you know, trying products, comparing products. Um, the more you try, you not, I'm not saying one thing against anybody who thinks, you know, I don't have a lot of makeup, but I still want to do a channel. You know, you still have, I'm sure, tons to offer, but I find that the more products I try and experiment with, the more the more knowledge I have, and the more um, like when I'm reviewing something, I've, I've got like you know half a dozen things in the back of my mind that I'm thinking about how those things worked and if this thing was as good as those or how is it different. You know what I mean? So um, frame of reference is very important, and that's why it kind of. One thing that sort of irritates me that I think if people thought before they said it, they wouldn't say it, <laughs> um, is if somebody says something like, you know, I don't want to hear you talking about high-end products. You should you should be focused on the drugstore, or because you know maybe I do mostly drugstore stuff, so they think that's you know where I need to be pigeonholed, I guess. And um, I I really think that trying from both price ranges gives you, 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 you have to have a frame of reference, you know? And so trying high-end stuff, comparing it to drugstore stuff, vice versa, you know, it's, I, I think that's been important. And it's made me a little more educated. And there's always more to try, you know? There's always, you know, this brand out there that you never heard of, and they're doing something amazing. And that's the beauty of makeup, you know, that's the beauty of, of, this whole beauty related world that we're in is that it goes on and on. There's always going to be a different color. There's always going to be a new line of this or that. And so, um, you know, you can try to stay, stay, um, updated. You can try to stay abreast of what's happening, but it's really hard to, to have tried like everything. But if you try a lot, I think you become, more more educated, I guess, is the only way to put it. Uh, yeah, I've, I have talked a lot about that new Maybelline powder. Um, somewhat similar to the Nearly Naked. Um, more mattifying, a little more coverage than that. I would put it in a very, uh, as a very close comparison to the L'Oreal True Match. Excuse me. <laughs> Hope you didn't hear that. Um, I've got a little blog post that I did a while back on motives and a small handful of things that I used. I had like a blush bronzer, a mascara, lip product, eyeshadow, and um, those were sent to me by a motives uh, a viewer who. Uh, it's kind of like a, a consultant for motives, and I enjoyed the eyeshadow so much. I got probably four other shades, and really like them. Very, very nice quality eyeshadows. <laughs> Remember the names of products and even shades? Oh my gosh, it's it's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, there, there are definitely some shades that I, I will blank out on and not, you know, not remember this or that exactly, but I'm a very, very visual person. 
so I I do make associations and I you know I will remember I'll pull out some random thing and remember what set that was part of and around when I got it and <laughs> this or that so it's just a it's a crazy visual thing I think because I'm I don't think I have that good of a memory if I just listen to somebody talk about it but if I see it if I touch it I will make the association for example when I was in classes in school like I could sit there and really be paying attention to the teacher the whole time but feel like I needed to study for hours to make that stuff sink in you know before a test or something so I think uh, yeah touching it and seeing it that really really makes a difference to me um, what opinion do you have of the brand essence and what would you try of the current display? Um, well, every brand has hits and misses and Essence does too. Essence has some, however, exceptional products at some of the lowest prices out there. Um, the gel liner, the Midnight in Paris black gel liner is awesome. Doesn't smudge, very creamy. Um, the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara, fantastic lengthening, thickening formula gets better at, at two or three weeks into your using it. You're going to be like, wow, that's really making my, my sparse lashes go crazy. So th those are great things. Um, they've got the, the matte lip creams are really just fantastic. Um, I haven't had maybe as much success with their eyeshadows. Uh, I've heard plenty of good things about their blushes. What else? Um, little nail polishes. I've had really good luck with the itty bitty nail polishes. Um, in terms of just like longevity on my nails, not chipping off. And I like the smaller amounts because I'm not one to go through nail polishes really quickly. So those are cool. Um, the XXL like nude type lip glosses are really pretty so they've, they've got a lot of things going for them and they're very um, just very affordable um, you haven't mentioned elf in a while anything interesting going on there um, well uh, since that favorites elf favorites video which must have been a little before Christmas time, I think. Um, I've seen, I've spied some new things on the website. Uh, the, I, I see that they've got a, a moisturizing stick foundation now, so that may be something to use and try. Um, but yeah, still using Elf, you know, throughout my my makeup usage, little products here and there, um, several Elf things, Emily Award winners, so. Yeah, I, I just haven't made a lot of purchases yet because I think they've just got maybe a few newer things that I've noticed recently on their website. Um, yes, I did an IMATS haul. I sure did. <laughs> a couple people had, had tweeted me like, oh, you just bought a bunch of Nicks at IMATS. And I think, I think if you were there, you know, like, the lines are, are nuts. And I was fortunate to spend a lot of my time actually talking to people and meeting folks and and doing stuff like that I didn't want to spend like a ton of time shopping um, and yeah I would have loved to have you know gone up to the Lime Crime booth but there was a line around the freaking building so I was just gonna you know take what I could get kind of situation and hop into the NYX line I, I just glanced at a lot of new things and NYX is a brand that my viewers are very into. I get tons of, of questions about NYX. NYX is probably one of the most popular brands that I talk about or one of the brands that I think my viewers are most interested in learning about. So with that in mind, I bought a lot of NYX at IMAX. Um, so, yeah. Monique, that's how Tyler was. He didn't need to study much and did well. <laughs> He, uh, because we even t had some, certain, just a few classes here and there in college together, and I just remember thinking, you got what on that test? And I put how much time into studying? <laughs> it's always been the way it is, though, right? And if you're not that interested in the subject matter, I think that makes a big difference. Like, 
I love makeup. I'm super interested in it. So I'm much more likely to like remember stuff about it and retain the information, right? But if it's, you know, Civil War history or something, yeah, I'm not going to remember. <laughs> um. Oh, hi, another Emily here. Follow Elf on Instagram. They always post new products in the works. Oh, yeah. One of their new things is cream shadow, uh, like shadow bases or something. I saw that uh, yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. Very feline. Um, it's a little of both. It's a little wing, and it's a little uh, lash going on there. So just put kind of stuck a random bright greenish color on the lower lash line. Thank you, Kristen, thank you so much. I really, that's the best thing, you know, is to just be able to be a resource and, and help people and, and, you know, in some cases try something, maybe save you having to try it or save you money <laughs> from realizing it wasn't that great or realizing it is great and then take some trial and error out of it because... I happen to really like the trial and error of makeup, but I know a lot of people would just assume not <laughs> go through it. So, um, I'm refreshing the tweet chat. A lot of cars going by my little dead end street here, cul de sac. Mm. Oh yeah, Jessica. Jessica mentioned Elf Cream Shadows. Excited to see if it's comparable to the color tattoos. That would be that would be something. It's really isn't it so interesting how Elf has grown over the years? Because I remember first talking about Elf before the studio line, before the mineral line, when it was just like the essen essential line. And it was all the one dollar stuff. And now you look at it like that was my first ever video on YouTube was talking about some of those one dollar brushes. <laughs> and now you look at how much they've grown. And it's like every couple weeks you check their website and there might be like a new item and stuff. So it's just I would love to go to their store. There's a store in New York. I think an actual elf store. And I would love to go there. Good morning, Miss Kristen. Yes, better late than never. Chipmunking. <laughs> I just remembered. I remembered this. Okay, I caught Cupcake chipmunking last night on the couch. She was laying with me. Hold on. I took a picture so I could show you guys. Oh, you're going to die. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is so funny. Look at her chipmunking. Look at her chipmunking! <laughs> I taught her well! Here's another. She's a little more wide-eyed here. Still chipmunking. It's weird because her eyes look so awake. You know, they're not her tired eyes, but she's letting she was letting me mess with her and take pictures. And then she's kind of relaxed a little bit and got tired. And then she started doing the thriller. Ding, 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 There's the thriller pose. <laughs> so chipmunking, you know, they're a little more pulled in. Thriller pose, you know, a little more relaxed. <laughs> I can't stand it. I was going to tweet it or post it, but then I'm like, I'm saving that for Beauty Broadcast Live tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, the, the cat is so talented, what can I say? Uh, I love it. I love that she did that. And then if you're at work and you want a chipmunk, all you got to do is scope out your territory. Left, right, done. Uh, oh, good. Enjoying the happy place quad. I just love that. I love it. I mean, 
Really? They put four fabulous shades together. It's just great. I there are there are so many little quads and trios where I might say, and you might say, like you've got got them in your collection. And you're like, really like that. Might have put in one different shade. You know, might have subbed in that shade for something else. That quad, 100% for me. Yeah, I will Instagram. <laughs> I will. I will have to because that just, it killed me. I was like, Tyler, look what's happening over here. She's chipmunking. And then she's dead. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, well, I'm glad so many of you were able to find me even after the issues we were having earlier. Um able to find what was actually going on here. And like I said, I guess getting the old one deleted was was good. I'm making sure another one didn't pop up because I actually restarted it immediately and then I thought maybe let's restart the whole computer. So <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you, Marlon. Mally and Ipsy teamed up. I heard that, so I guess some of her stuff will be showing up in the glam bags. More Instagram, FOTDs, especially on Beauty Broadcast Live days when the video quality is not so good. Thank you. Um, thank you for asking. And I have a little, I don't know if anybody saw it, but I put up a little picture today of the look, a close-up of the eye. Um, the palette and stuff. And of course there will be that video coming tomorrow, assuming I can get everything edited and up. Um, have you been to the movies? It's Oscar season. Um, I haven't seen a lot recently. The most recent ones I saw were Anchorman 2 and The Wolf of Wall Street. Um, Tracy Brown says, I have to go now, have to go get my chemo today, but just two more after today, and I am done. So happy. Good for you, Tracy. Yay, Tracy. Um, in Germany, Essence just released colored mascara and are reformulating their eyeshadow. They were for younger girls, and I started experimenting with makeup, but many beauty bloggers and um, the general beauty community in Germany wanted more pigmented shadows to be more comparable to better quality brands. Well, that's exciting. Keep us posted. Um... Is there any lip gloss that you all can think really change a lipstick look in an unexpected way? Like a certain gloss that would really change the finish? Well, I think sometimes it might depend on the finish of the lipstick you're working with because, you know, how some lipsticks are really creamy and shiny and just really, like, kind of pop and, and uh, almost look glossy. So those don't have as much of a stark contrast if you put a gloss on top because they already look that way. But if you took like a matte lipstick and took a real frosty like or mirrored shine type of gloss and went on the you know center part of your lower lip, I think you'd get a different look. Or um, glosses uh, that have like a real bluish shimmer. There was a there's a gloss I tried for MAC at one point and it was like purple purpley looking with a bluish sparkle and I thought it looked so different all the time so maybe if you find something with a really interesting like iridescence to it it might really change the look of whatever you put it on top of um what's your favorite of the four L'Oreal Miracle Blur okay multiple choice <laughs> Uh, L'Oreal Pore Vanisher. 
Okay, haven't tried either of those two. Maybelline Baby Skin Benefit Professional. Have you seen the new Baby Skin in the Pink Tube? No. But thank you for the heads up. Um, okay, Baby Skin Professional. Professional has a drier texture, it seems like. Um, I, I actually kind of like the Baby Skin. Um, if you, you know, use it kind of sparingly and... Uh, I mean, I think it glides on really nicely. It's held up well under different products. But I feel like there's maybe a slight bit more moisture in it than the Professional, which just really, like, I mean, I feel like that caters to just your areas where you've got the pores, where you might even be a little bit oily. I think that may be more effective for oily areas. So, like I said, I haven't tried those first two that you mentioned. Um, I need to, the baby skin, you know, I think it depends on skin type. But I think if you're oily and trying to mask the appearance of large pores, professional would probably be my pick. Ooh, uh, Mojo Kitty makes a good point. I think some Lancome Juicy Tubes have that nice iridescent finish that changes the way the lipstick looks. What makeup would you recommend for young girls with blonde hair, blue eyes, fair skin? Because this is my dilemma. Everything looks super harsh on me. Oh man, so you've got you've got the coloring of, of Tyler's sisters. The, <laughs> the fair, everything's light. Um, well, um, it's all you know. If we're talking everything, are you? you talking about, I'm not sure what you're most in search of, if your main issue is eyeshadows, if your main issue is lipsticks or blushes or something. Um, but, yeah, you might have to get a little more specific with me <laughs> um, on, on like exactly what you're looking for because I, I could see on, on fair skin, you know, a red lip looking absolutely fierce and amazing on on that kind of coloring but yet if that's not what you're after you might want to go more toward like tinted lip balm type stuff um, if you want something more subtle on your lips like the NYX butter lip balms are really cool you know they're not as intense as a lot of lipsticks but yet they're, they're still color and um, they're still easy to wear um, I like the Maybelline baby lips I've enjoyed those for a while um, so, you know, think about looking for tinted lip balms as opposed to all-out lipsticks. Um, maybe for eyes, if, let's say, a wet and wild quad is coming off really, really heavy on you, um, you know, you might look at maybe some of the quads from, like, L'Oreal. They're not quite as intense as as uh, wet and wild, but you're still able to get, you know, cool looks out of them. You know, it's just they're, they're not quite as, you don't have to be quite as careful with them. And I don't think they would be as maybe overwhelming to work with. Um, but a couple I just pulled out here, actually, Cup of Joe is a nice little matte basics quad. And then the Rose for Romance, which I talked about in a recent video. But I find those, you know, pretty manageable. Like, don't have to really be too terribly careful with them. Um, but if you're just going for really a natural look, I know blondes, you know, that if you've got that fair skin, blue eyes, light hair going on, a lot of the issue can be, you know, just having black mascara on can make a huge difference for you because you've probably got light blonde lashes. So I think just even if you just went over like with a light wash of color on your lids and then got your black mascara filled in your brows with like a taupe type product there, a light pink cheek, a light pink lip, I think you could be just perfect. <laughs> That's my vision for you. I'm picturing your face in my mind. <laughs> but um, blushes. Blushes might be a thing that you're finding look really intense on your super fair skin. Um, so... I think of something that's kind of, you know, still good quality, but but maybe a little more subtle. One blush that I've tried recently that I really, really enjoyed was actually this Almay Smart Shade blush, and it's in the shade Coral. And this looks so pretty on. 
it's very peachy and it's got like it looks like deeper peach colors in there but that's a really really pretty blush um, also a blush that Kristen had me try that you might like and and would really be satisfied with this look on fair skin is the NYC color wheel mosaic face powder and rose glow talk about a subtle but very pretty blush um, that would be a nice one to use so I hope I got you started <laughs> <laughs> I hope I got you started, my fair-skinned beauty. Oh, she says she needed everything, mostly eyes, though. So, yeah, what are some other good, like, kind of subtle, subtle eyeshadow things to work with? You know, NYX has some good, good little trios and stuff. One that I kind of fell for recently at Ulta. Not necessarily recommending this specifically to you, but this is called Enfuego. Burgundy, black, champagne. <laughs> um, but oh, here's here's a quad I would recommend to my to my fair skin friend, Emily. Try barefoot in the sand. It does not look like much, but this is a really th this little trio. What this does for the eyes is doesn't so much make you look like, okay, she's got a lot of eyeshadow on, but it makes you, it, this totally mimics the natural shadow that you would want in your crease, right? You just want it a little bit darker there, maybe a little bit lighter here, a little bit lighter up here. This totally, this is great. It's not too intense. You don't have to be too careful with it. But by the time you get done, you know, with your look, you'd be like, oh, my eye just looks a little more defined. You know, the, the crease looks a little more defined. It's just very, um, very uh, wearable, workable, quick, easy. I think so often, I'm, I'm really glad we started talking about this because so often we're talking about like what is the most pigmented, what's the most intense, what's the little goes a long way type product and that's not always what everybody's dying to have. But this, yeah, it, it'll say Love in Rio on the front and it'll say Barefoot in the Sand on the back. I, I think anybody, uh, anybody, I was about to say anybody starting out with makeup or anybody who's really fair, but really, this is this is just a nice little quick go-to for anyone. And Kristen says taupe, 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 or taupe, toper, and topist. <laughs> cool. Well, this was fun. I like I like having somebody's little makeup challenge to. To, to work with and maybe if you tried some of those things you'll come back and tell us how they worked and don't be scared to tell me if they didn't work because I'd like to know mmm I'm sorry I just uh, got a lot of stuff coming in on the tweet chat oh thank you test tube auto delivery is four times a year thank you Trisha and she posted a link as well um, I had missed that from before Hi, Karina. Love you, too. Oh, thank you. Uh, Live in Life's Moment says, this was my first time tuning into a live broadcast. I'm glad I did. Enjoy the casual conversation. Nice way to start off the morning. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. She wants to make this part of her schedule. That's great. Yay. Well, we've been doing it pretty consistently, 9 a.m., every Thursday, that's central time. Um, sorry for the issues we had this morning, but I went longer <laughs> because of it. So um, just thrilled to have everybody here. Glad we rebounded from the craziness and um, what what's coming up. I guess my express review for the day was already posted very early, so check that out. I will put some uh, details in the info box for where to find the products I was talking about. And um, what else? I'll be working on Tyler this week's Tie Day Friday review this afternoon. I'll be working on my sleek haul, and I will be hopefully shopping for a few little random necessities like toilet paper, toothpaste, uh, pop, and a couple other things <laughs> for when my parents get here. My mom 
I had told her, I was like, Mom, you know, there's something I've really, really been wanting, and it is your lasagna. And so she's bringing down lasagna. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's uh, looking forward to a fun weekend. So I hope you guys have a good weekend. I hope you're really safe as you travel and do whatever you're doing. And um, thank you so much for your time, for your patience, for your love. I love you guys, too. This is this is really always a fun part of the week. So um, I will see you again next time. I feel like I had one other thing I was actually meaning to announce or mention. If it comes to me, I'll tweet it. <laughs> and I'll tweet also the chipmunk and cat and the thriller cat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this will be our new pose that we start doing every week. Not only the chipmunking, but the thriller pose. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day.